Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Today, I wanted to talk about the new maximum power level in Minecraft Dungeons, which is probably gonna stay this way, and also what you should farm on to get your hands on the best gear in the game. Is it the gilded items, which you can find on the ancient hunts, and of course also at the Pigling Merchant, or should you go for the Raid Captains, which used to be pretty bad in the past, but right now they can actually drop even higher power levels, just like you saw in my video, which I posted yesterday. So we have very powerful gilded ones with an extra built-in enchantment or a higher power level. Both of them are extremely strong, but right now we're gonna answer all their questions regarding the best loot in the game. Guys, let's get right to it. All right, so here we are in the base camp. Let me quickly show you my inventory because I've been farming the ancient hunts for quite some hours right now to get my hands on a gilded for right of the bubble burster because yesterday I managed to find one of power level 262, which is currently the highest power level in the game. Of course, it is not easy to get your hands on these bad boys. You're gonna have to struggle a little bit on the highest apocalypse plus and at the same time do daily trials of this difficulty. So today's daily trials, uh, were pretty simple, especially on the mainland. On the island realms, I already completed uh, the one on the dinghy jungle, but um, we have another one right here. So uh, this is something I'm gonna complete later on today, but uh, just to show you guys what the power level is as reward, right here we can see um, as reward the gear and artifact power level is uh, 243 to 250, and the recommended power which you have on your gear is 241. If we go to the daily trial, they recommend you a power level of 200 151, which is of course the highest which you can get when upgrading items at the blacksmith and which you can also find on the ancient hunts. So if we expand this one right here, we can also see the completion reward. So the mission drop, but also the completion reward power level will be 249 to 256. But this is without any raid captains, without any banner modifiers, because you can get your hands on three threat banners and also three mystery banners. If you pick up all those, the levels become extremely difficult. I already shared you guys everything um, about my struggles yesterday, so definitely make sure to check out that video if you want to see me having a hard time on uh, the tier 3 coral rise of yesterday, and I also did one on the frosted fjords, but um, we actually managed to get our hands on uh, this range weapon right here, this bubble burster of power level 262, which is the highest power level which you can find in the game. So 262 is the highest power level in the game, it's probably not going to change anytime soon as we have all the DLCs right now of uh, the season pass, but maybe in the future it will change in a future update, but I think uh, it's gonna stay for a while just like this. So um, if we compare these two right here, so this one is a 262, but this one is the maximum from the blacksmith. So 251, the highest which you can loot from levels. This one deals almost 300,000 damage. If we look at the gilded one, of course, it goes to 305,000 all the way up to 764,000 with a fully charged attack. So let's just equip this bad boy for a second and shoot the target at me. So look at that, 305,000 without a charge attack. And if we charge it, it deals 764,000. However, if we have a look at this one right here, the 262 of the daily trial rate captain struggles, we actually have 479,000 damage right there and a the maximum is almost 1.2 million. So guys, this is almost twice as much damage in comparison with the gilded for Ryan on 251. So if we just equip it for a second, as you can see, it deals way more damage with a charge shot, almost 1.2 million. I think this is very impressive. So what should we you focus on right now if you want to farm for the best items in the game i think the answer is pretty simple because if we have a look at the power level differences, once again right here, a Guardian Bow of 220, it deals 130,000 damage and goes all the way to almost 400,000. But this bad boy right here almost deals 2 million damage on a charged shot. So uh, you can definitely tell that uh, the power level impacts the performance of the weapons and armor greatly. And armor, guys, this is also very important. Unfortunately, I got rid of all the higher power level armor, which I found during the daily trial trials because the rolls were simply extremely bad so I don't have anything to showcase right now. I do have three different sweet tooth though because um, I've been farming these uh, during the anniversary event big time. So this one has 1.98 almost 2 million HP, this one has 2 million and then this one has 2.1 million but if you go all the way to 262 power level boy oh boy you can also double your HP pretty much in comparison 
with um, the 251. So say I find this particular Wither Armor with Chilling, Snowball and Final Shout, but on power level 262, will it be better than a power level 251 with also another Gilded built-in enchantment? I think yes, because it will literally have double the amount of HP, so it will increase your survivability drastically on the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty. But at the same time, it can be a little bit better, of course, to have a weapon with four built-in enchantments. Of this fighter's Bindings, we have a tier 3 built-in swirling, we also have the shockwave, the critical hit and also the radiance, but of course if you go for a 262 you won't be able to find all these enchantments all there. So maybe it's gonna decrease let's say your damage output, but at the same time of course the raw damage will already be twice as high. I think the most important things to focus on are some AoE damage enchantments and of course also something like radiance so you can heal yourself, but then again of course the higher the power level the more you heal with your upgrade. Grades. So on the highest tier it heals for 225,000 every time when the radiance activates but I also found a Staff of Terror, the Battle Staff of Terror right here with almost power level 260 and it also has the Radiance but this time of course the maximum tier has 313,000 damage which is almost like 30% increased healing every time when you hit your enemy. Of course Radiance is going to be terrible on the Battle Staff of Terror but say we find a 262 Fighter's Bindings with also this enchantment it's going to be way better as well. But this, my friends, is easier said than done because it is extremely difficult to get your hands on a certain unique with a raid captain bounty chest. So um, if we open up the map for a second, once again, um, we did the Coral Rise daily trial of yesterday. And of course, we also had the chance of finding the bubble bow as reward in the bounty. But... Um, it is pretty difficult to first of all find a perfect roll and then of course if you know that it shares loot with all these other items could be nice though to find a fighter's bindings right there you definitely know that uh, the chances are quite small while if you look at for example the other dimensions the ancient hands you can summon it in a couple items so if we say for example go with the, the mystery armor right here and then we also add in a backstabber and uh, for example this 261 firebolt thrower not gonna happen but uh, then we can increase the invested uh, enchantment points to the maximum and we will have a 2.5 ancients on average during this ancient hunt with a 94% chance to encounter them for the mushroom monstrosity boss pretty much which also drops the gilded fighters bindings. This one though also has a loot table with different items for example um, the katana, the ghostly armor and the dual crossbow so that means you also have a pretty small chance of finding the gauntlets in the first place and the gauntlets also have three variants so um, you have the soul fists you have the maulers and then the fighters binding so you can already use your math to check out how small the chances are to actually finding a gilded fighters bindings I got mine after a couple weeks of farming and um, you can definitely tell that it is kind of irreplaceable but I still think that if you find a 262 power level fighters bindings which is non-gilded it will be stronger in comparison with a gilded item so right now the conclusion of everything, what should you farm? Should you go for the more reliable farm on the ancient hunts or should you go for the less reliable farm on the daily trials? Well, my answer is option B because if you actually find something and it doesn't necessarily have to have three perfect enchantments, even with two nice enchantments, for example, a chilling so you can slow mobs around you, uh, both their movement and attack speed on the highest apocalypse. Plus I think this is a top tier armor enchantment and then also Something like a snowball or a final shout only those two enchantments can already make the armor better than something which is gilded with four enchantments because it will already have twice as much hp same counts for the weapons because they will have the double damage, both the melee and the ranged weapons. I also definitely recommend you if you want to get your hands on the highest power level as quick as possible to also check out the daily trials with a lower tier every now and then because right here on the lower temple which is a pretty short level you can find an artifact as reward and this one allows you to also crank up your average power level big time so if we have a look at my artifacts right here um, this one the ghost cloak is power level 254 I also have one right here with 254 so if I also add this one in and then um, I actually have another one somewhere let me just quickly search it 
So um, there we go. We have a Fire Rock Rocket on 253, but I think we have even more on a decent power level. So in total, this already makes our average 254. And then we also have this Sweet Tooth of power level 254. And what's really cool about this one is that it also has a built-in Luck of the Sea. So right before you complete the mission, guys, make sure to equip something like this. Highest power level as possible with also the Luck of the Sea, because then you will increase the chances of making the reward of the rate captains and unique so that is really nice so you don't have to struggle all the way to the end of the mission to get your hands on a rare item that really sucks and then last but not least, I also have this 259 Battle Staff of Terror, which also increases my power level. So the average power level becomes 257, which drastically increases the chances of finding a highest power level item in Minecraft Dungeons. Today I was so lucky to find this Firebolt Thrower of power level 261 during my Dingy Jungle Daily Trial Tier 3 run with a built-in Void Strike. So this one literally hits like a truck. Let's equip this bad boy for a second. So uh, if we hit the target enemy, 2.17 million damage. But uh, if we hit it again, 8.5 million damage, guys. Oh man, it can definitely melt stuff, bosses. So if we open up the map for a second, you can see that uh, the daily mission actually also shares the same loot with uh, the regular one. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight items in there so that means for the exploding crossbow we have a 12 and a half percent chance of this one popping up but actually divide that by two because you also have the imploding crossbow which is the other unique variety of the exploding crossbow so um the chances are extremely small that you will actually find the weapon or piece of armor that you're looking for but guys simply don't focus on that particular item because it's gonna take you ages and ages of finding that one in the first place and then of course also get your hands on the perfect enchantments so what i suggest you to do is just check out all the tier 3 daily trials every single day and say that instead of the exploding crossbow you actually find the double axe a whirlwind axe with two pretty nice enchantments i mean it's already gonna deal twice as much damage in comparison with one which you would otherwise find on the ancient hunts with four enchantments so i think this is still the best way to go you can already narrow down um, what you want to go for so you can find some archer's armor some different bows of course also uh, the vine whip uh, the fighter's bindings or the maulers or maybe even the soul fist if they have a pretty decent set of enchantments they're gonna work just fine and then we also have this daily mission right here so i think you have two tier three daily trials every single day and this one of course also has some pretty interesting items to find and instead of the ancient hunt farm right here you actually have a pretty decent chance of finding uniques every single time after completing the mission as long as of course you equip your piece of armor with a luck of the sea enchantment so guys that is my take on um, the ancient hunts and of course also the great captains i really Really think that the raid captains are the top one numero uno way to go to get your hands on the best items in the game even though they are not necessarily gonna have the best enchantments or four built-in enchantments they're gonna have like two or three nice ones but still they are going to help you out big time you have twice the survivability you have twice the damage so i think even without enchantments they're gonna be already very interesting guys big thanks for watching definitely make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this video i know it was a pretty long explanation but i think i made it pretty clear what you should do right now just do some daily trials don't focus on a certain item don't throw away enchantment points at the ancient hunts because the maximum power level is where it's at at the daily trials make sure to get all those raid captain banners I already made a video for it top right of the screen but um yeah that is everything guys now you know what to do Start farming, good luck getting your hands on the best gear of the game. Right now though, it is 4 a.m. out, so I'll see you guys another time. Take care, peace.